Hello, welcome back. Finally, hope you're well, finally starting to heal. It's been weeks and weeks and weeks now. It just feels like an eternity, but I can see the road to recovery. I'm gonna hold off a little bit down by the well area. Obviously with those heavy rocks, I still need to be really careful. I wanna be 100% before I start lifting anything. There are a couple of things that I need to do up by the house here, starting with, and then we'll be following what the guys are doing. So hopefully we'll get some stuff done this week and we'll see some progress.
Good morning. Boys are resting over there. It's nice and calm this morning. But we're going to get rain a bit later, and I think for the next few days. So I've got to crack on over there. In the meantime, let's go and have a look on the roof and see what Jean's doing. We have got that rain. He's put one layer down, but that was a couple of weeks ago. And then we had the rain immediately afterwards. And I think that washed it to one side and quite a lot of water ended up coming in the house. So he's just making sure now that we're not going to have that problem over the course of the next few days. And then next week, he'll put that last layer on and go from there. I want to have a look around the front as well, see what he's been doing. This lado para abajo. guys were having a little bonfire yesterday and I had no idea so last night I was pottering around it was quite late and I could smell something I thought well it's not my pellet burner and I was standing at the back of the house so I could see all the way through and there was this flame flickering away so I came out to double check I thought someone was trying to set fire to the place turns out they were just doing what they were doing down here and uh, well I was a bit surprised they just left it but we are at that time of year where it's not going to spread anywhere do anything but I had to monitor this for quite some time make sure that there was going to be no other damage around here of course it's just on a bit of land that's just soil so it's not a problem but did get me uh, a little bit concerned for a while but at least it got rid of that old door I guess Marco, Marco, Marco is up the ladder, cutting away where the uh, little fault lines where they are superficial. I've mentioned that a few times. Once he's opened them up, then they can be filled back in again, pretty much and much like the back. And Joan, in the meantime, he's been working around the windows there. So we've got the frames. That's looking pretty good. He's also gone around the door. And this one here is pretty close to being finished. Now, obviously those windows will be removed further down the line with new ones going in. Uh, so I'm probably gonna make more mess there, but he's done a good job around there. We've got ledges. So that's all good. Wow, we're so close to getting through into that room. The last bit you see there is the plaster on the other side. They were trying to minimalize the amount of debris that went into the room. So they're probably, when they come back to this after he's finished up there, go into that room and back through into this side. And then we'll be able to walk through. I don't know if I've even mentioned what this is for. It's a bench. And at the moment, I can just see that there, a fire pit to the right, sitting on that, very cozy, put some legs on it. It's turning out pretty much as I was hoping, which is good. Now it's a bit of a test because along here, this log, this is what I was thinking, if it's thick enough, the ladder's in the way at the moment, but let me go through the gap there. I'm hoping if that's thick enough, and I can take the cork off there and get a really nice flat top, that that will work for the inside window ledge. And that's why I wanted to start off on this one down here, a bit of a practice run to see what I, or how it would turn out.
Look at that. Well, that was a bit satisfying. Really satisfying. The grain on that is amazing, especially with the wax on it. I don't want to sit on it just yet. I let it all go off, do what it's got to do. I haven't put it all the way around here. I want this to completely dry out now. Although it's been outside for quite a while, it has had the cork on it. But that now is going to make such a good chair. Maybe out here, maybe with that fire pit, maybe in the house. Who knows at this point in time. I'm going to put it to one side though. But I'm very, very happy. It feels so smooth. The other long one up there that I mentioned was going to be for the window ledges. I'm going to see now because although it's lovely at the moment, I think we've got three days of rain starting tomorrow. So I don't know how far I'm going to get with it. But I would like to get that cut down at least with the cork off. And maybe I'll get a chance to do this. In that case though, you saw me using this at the beginning when I was doing that. I'm borrowing this one. My two are being sharpened and cleaned. I couldn't really do it on here because it's a bit wobbly. It's a seat after all, but the ones that are going inside, when those are, uh, are uh, ready to use, I want to get that really flat. What the underside looks like, I'd like to keep a little bit of the original shape, but it's going to be interesting to see how that turns out. And I have one more piece, which I will turn into something further down the line. But it is really nice to do something a little bit different and just, well, I don't know, play with a little bit of wood. I can also come up with some ideas because I want to do a little bit of sculpting in the future. Very, very satisfying. One last thing, little leftovers like that. A bit of scrap, but that could make a nice little coaster if I uh, make it into a shape. I'm going to hold on to that one. Yeah, really satisfying. This could be the last we see of this giraffe. They're working their way across and there are quite a few of those scars right in the way. Makes me want to throw up. All the maggots. Oh, is it worth it? Right or wrong? Okay, so that one was a no-goer. I'll cut it, and as you can see, there's some good bits in there, but not for what I want it for. So I'm gonna save that piece. That can be for something else. This, this one down here is completely rotten, so that will just go. Now, the other piece that I had along here, I thought I'd chop that off the end and have a look and see what that's like, and that's this section here. It is in better condition than the other one, so, Again, I've just taken off the raw stuff 
and I'm gonna put that into the house knowing there's no bugs in there let that completely dry out and that'll be for something else because it is too thin to use in the window area that's such a shame but it's not all going to waste I am collecting cork though at the moment so um, yeah I'll move that away from here because there were maggots and so on I'm gonna clean that area where I was working around there in a minute I want to make sure that there's none left for the dogs obviously and then I'll take these and stack them up with the rest of the old cork because I think I can uh, sell those. But there is one other option. Good, that's taking shape. It's drying so it looks patchy, but nice uh, flat finish on there. And really nice to see this roof with one tone of gray and not look too patchy. Good. So we'll let the rain pass and next week they'll do their last layer on here and hopefully they'll go up the walls and it'll start to look different again. We are getting so close to the guys finishing. like that tree well we had rain through the night I uh, slept in a little bit longer let the rain pass it's gonna be continuing through the rest of the well, the remainder of the week but now we've got some blue skies just for a minute or two Sun poking its head out I made the most of that because it ain't gonna last walls that keep on giving that I believe now is the last of everything taken out from inside I've got to get that down to the well area and I'm holding off until Monday a few more days I want to make sure that my back is properly healed it's definitely a lot better now than it was earlier on in the week that's for sure so I'm pretty confident going forward next week that I can start building that wall a lot of those are very heavy but I'm sure I'll manage that wall there starting to fill in it working their way across giraffe it's gonna be sad to see that go but it's gonna to have to, on and off at the moment. Bit of rain, bit of blue sky. Temperamental, and it's definitely cooled down. What happened to that spring? I can feel it spitting now, but I wanna have a quick look down by the well area. Well, it's still there, just as I left it. I can't believe I left the tools out. They've got wood handles with the rain. Not good. Yeah, it feels like a long time ago since I was down here and I'm really frustrated that I couldn't get on with it, but got to be realistic. Getting on a bit when you hurt yourself, especially back injuries, you've got to be patient. It's just very difficult in these conditions, especially with how I'm living at this point in time, because there's nowhere really to go and chill out. But ah, this will be done next week and it's going to look really good. The water level is at its maximum height, which is really good in here. And uh, after, what, nine rings, half a meter each, just, just below the top of the eighth, four meters, four meters deep. I will clean up around the outside there where the cement fell down. Uh, yeah, okay. Just gotta be patient. It's gonna be a very busy year. And when things start to change weather-wise, and the guys are gone, it's gonna be me full on. So I might as well make the most of it right now. And uh, well, I've gotta go and find some shelter. I thought I'd give you a little idea of what I meant. Now, obviously that's just balancing and they're not in the right place. The wood itself is really heavy, but I've got nice, long, even legs near now. 
and I've got enough there because I, it's going to be lower but I thought that I could actually carve out the underside of each one of those so it fits snug under there and that one being set back is going to give me quite a lot of stability on that bench. I'm looking forward to doing that but I don't want to do it now because of the weather. I think I want to save it for a blue, nice blue sky day when it's warmer and really enjoy it. But you get the idea. Mr. Giraffe has just been spared for now. I'm not sure if I'm going to repaint one back on there again when the house is done. It kind of makes sense as the house was in the condition it was in to do that. It was just a bit of fun, but yeah, maybe when the house is finished, it won't look so great. Uh, anyway, you know, it's just crap here at the moment. I thought spring was on its way, but it turns out I was wrong. It's cold as well. Never mind. Anyway, it will be coming very soon. In the meantime, guys have uh, started to tidy up around there. That's looking pretty good. And then they can go through on Monday. Chris is just resting over there. Cold as. But we've had rain. Quite a lot of it. And last night, blimey, was it windy. Really windy. Uh, gusts of 60, 70 kilometres an hour in that tent. I didn't worry once about that or that roof. That's the first time in eight years. That tent really held down well with all the rocks. Friend of mine lives down there, has a very similar one. And last night, <laughs> the wind blew it over the fence upside down like a turtle on its back. Having all the rocks around there was a really good idea. Anyway, it's starting to rain again now. I'm off to a party. It's a barbecue. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Next week is a another week. I'm starting back down that well area. When the guys are finished in one week's time, it's going to be a really busy year going forward. So I'm making the most of this little resty time. And of course, I want to be in this house before we go into winter. So I've got my work cut out for me. Hope you can join me until next week. Look after yourselves. Stay happy, stay positive. Bye. Thank you.